Hey guys, Dave Anderson here, Heli Cools Helipad. Hey, today I've got a pretty cool thing for you. It's going to involve, you know, those camera systems. Oh, oh, you can't see it. Here you go, here you go, here you go. Right there, that camera system. Okay, so I'm getting a little bit of feedback. Um, not a problem when the vehicle is not running, but when the engine's running, I'm getting some electrical feedback. So I'm going to build a video filter. It's really easy. Come on along. I'll show you how. So here we go. This is what I've built. This is a toroid and links will be in the description. Okay. And this is a capacitor. It is a 4,700 microfarad, 50 volt capacitor. Um, and power will come in this way from the switch. This is ground for the capacitor. And this is the toroid, and you want to cover all but about that last inch here. Keep these about equal distance. Now, all this is is a thermostat wire, and I made it white so that you can see it really easy. This wire will go to power the unit, okay? So power coming in from the switch. There's the ground, and power to the unit. Okay, I'm going to put it inside this little box here to make sure that it doesn't rattle around. And I'm also going to pretty much glue it into the box using RTV. You ready? So many of you know that I have put in a backup camera system, actually a four camera system, and I'm just going to uh, turn it on and you'll see. All right. All right. You see that there's really nice crisp video there with my four cameras. All right. Now to start the vehicle up and I'm going to show you all of the distortion that I get. All right. So this is what I get. You can see it flickering. It's flickering here. Uh, matter of fact, all the screens look like they're flickering just a little bit. So everything is glued in there. It's not going to shake loose. Okay, this goes to the switch. This is the ground wire. And this goes to the camera system. Let's get it installed. Just for future reference, I have made the male blade on this side and the female <laughs> blade or spade rather on this side so that if I ever take this out, I can't screw it up when I'm putting it back in. Before you hook up the power that goes to the system, you want to check the voltage coming out of here to see if, if it's good to go voltage or very high voltage. We're good to go. And one last test to make sure that this doesn't go above 15 is I'm gonna start the vehicle and see if it spikes any. So let's go ahead and do that. Once again, good to go. Check out what it does now. Wow, I don't. There is just a. 
tiniest, tiniest bit of flicker. It's not bad. Wow. That's good. I like it. Well, another project completed. Sure, I'm glad that that's done. You know what? It may not have caused too much fussiness. If it is for you, like it was for me, and you want to get rid of that, that is the easiest and cheapest way I know how to fix it. I mean, if you want to go even super easy, yeah, you can buy, you know, a video filter for like, oh, 50, 60 bucks, something like that, slap it in. But where's the fun in that? There's no DIY. There's no fabrication. Thanks for coming along on this journey with me. There'll be much, much more to come. You guys stay tuned for the next time. Until then, I'm Dave Anderson signing out. You guys be safe out there and God bless.